from GM Motor Services back at you with another video. I'm here at the uh, Minneapolis Convention Center. I'm here to go and get in that big black door over there somewhere. I'm here with the uh, Iron Valley equipment. My truck is gonna be at the show. This is the 2022 uh, Green Expo. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Got a little bit of a line here. Oh, yeah. Hurry up and wait. <laughs> Hurry up and wait. Looking sharp. It is, it is. We got a fresh F12 on the front. Got the uh, 16 foot snow power on the back. Just got this put on the other day. So just waiting in line to get in the show. I will uh, show you kind of what that looks like when we get in there. So today is Thursday. It's the last day at the Northern Green Expo. We're here at the Iron Valley Equipment Booth. I think they got one of the bigger booths uh, in the show. It's kind of all the way along this whole sidewall. So let's go through here and check out some of what they got here. Got a little Arctic sectional. It's about a little six or 10 footer salt dog spreader. I think this is the same spreader we have. Overall, it's been good so far. It's a nice little hook lift truck. JK Landscape throughout of Clearwater. If you're in the North Metro area, you know who they are. They have a ton of billboards. Here's my truck in here, packed in the booth. It's Glacier Snow Management. Uh, they're here at the Iron Valley booth as well. If, you, if you're on Instagram and you don't follow Glacier, uh, you should. They're a big company out of Fargo. They seem to seem to do it right. It's got an F12 on the front there, and then a brine system here in the box. It's pretty sweet. This is a CMP attachments hydro bucket for a mini skid, and it actually uh, tilts. That's pretty cool. Caleb, do you think this would be helpful for like uh, like grading, like doing finished grade, like on slopes? Yeah, or like a swale or anything like that. Because yeah, you kind of go to either side. Yeah, for sure. But then you just think about as you drive along, as if the grade changes, you're gonna if you're cruising along, the grade changes, you're gonna have to kind of play this as it goes because right. as machine turns, the bucket's gonna have to turn too, or it's gonna be digging yeah. in and whatnot. Yeah. So I'm, I haven't ran one, but I'm guessing it's gonna take a little bit of finesse to get this thing dialed in. What, what's the advantage do you think to this quattro plow versus like like a a metal plus or another hydraulic plow like a, like a cage. You still get the fully functional wings, but uh, there's no electronics you have to worry about. You happen to work for these guys? Are you like a quattro salesman? Uh, no. <laughs> you sound like it. I work for GM Outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. This is a mechanic thing to notice. Still on the shop floor and it's already leaking. <laughs> Oops. So we were scratching his head already. <laughs> See what else I got here at the cab booth. It's a nice little blower on the loader. Yeah, I think this, I think this is comparable like the Bobcat L85. I know everyone loves like what this Cat 908. Nice little Cat 279. We may or may not have something like that coming in the spring. Nice CMP Hydro bucket. It was a great finish grading killer. Uh, like, a, like a rock bucket with a grapple, broom, kinds of fun stuff. No, what do you know about cat wheel machines? Are they good? Uh, cat wheel machines are great. The 262 size is probably one of the best all around wheel machines for snow removal. Overall, they're just solidly built. Easy, yeah, solid, easy parts. low maintenance, not many issues. There's no def. Mm, that's nice. What is it, 74 horse? Yep. Yeah, it's just like a Bobcat 650 basically. Burr. Got a cat 308 here. Um, a little like 304 and a half or something, little mini X. Some nice little units. I've ran numerous larger cats, but I haven't really ran a lot of cat mini excavators. So if you have any experience with cat mini excavators, comment below how you like them, what you like about them, what you don't. Here's the Lano equipment booth. These are, I think it's Ebi, 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 whatever this is. They're all aluminum trailers. Of course, you have no paint, and I guess they don't corrode very, very much. So let me know if you have any experience with these. Um, if it's worth the extra investment, it'd be nice because it'd be light, but not really sure. I've never had, had any experience with one. I guess they've been around a while, but not in our area for long. So let me know if you have any experience with aluminum trailers. In Minnesota, anyway, our fellings, Towmaster, B&B, all the paint is okay, but none of it's really great. Within like a winter or two, a lot of your paint's all chipping and falling off. So not sure if this would be any better for a crowd or how well it hold up. It is nice and light though, so that would be a plus. Bobcat E16. It has the, the, the more like modern R-series display, which is kind of nice. The rest of the cab is kind of similar. Thinking about swapping our E55 out for one of these, upgrading it. You got a couple thousand hours on the E55 now. Good visibility overall. It's got the angle boom. Kept thinking nice to be like bigger and small rock, it'll adjust right to so it. Nice, yeah. It's just this Because you're getting out anyway, you have to undo yeah. the hydraulics. You know much about Kubotas? 
Nope. See, this gets called a mini skid over here. It's pretty sweet. I think they just came out with this thing just recently. Uh, this is the small one. Caleb, what's your, what's your opinion on Kubota in general? Kubota? Kubota skid loaders. Uh, they're all right. So so. They're like this. <laughs> Nice little tractor blower with a what is this? What brand plow is this? That's HLA. HLA, are these good? It's got the it's got the metal plus style. Kind of edge. Live edge. Yeah. We have uh, really tight areas. You need to move some rock. Got a cute little baby CMP hydro grab on here. Lee 42. I see you know a lot of guys that run out. I don't know a lot, but see guys that that go out on barges because things a little smaller, easier to haul. It's a cute little boulder unit. Not gonna lift really big rock, but do a decent amount. Save a little bit of weight by removing that thumb. Save a weight, save a weight reduction by moving that. This is the uh, Tri-State Bobcat booth here. They got all kinds of fun stuff here. T66. Pecan head. The unique thing about it is it's got scare fire teeth, mm. but you'll see there's no hydraulics. That was that, that was what I was about to ask you. Was that because I know yeah. there's a lot of other grading bars that have like you don't have to manually get out to lock yeah. in any pins. Yeah. To engage these teeth, you tap this front bar on the ground. Okay? So you just basically go up and tap down? Tilt down, hit it on the ground, mm -hmm. okay? That'll engage your teeth. When you're going forward, the teeth are down and you're ripping. Yep. When you go in reverse, the teeth automatically float up. So you so can you basically can only rip going forward? Rip going forward, feather in reverse. Tap the bar on the ground again and you lock the teeth back up. It's just yeah. a set reset mechanism. There's yep. a start here. here. I can see that up there, yeah. And then, because there's no hydraulics at yeah. all, a guy can switch back and forth between the grader bar and his bucket without that's, leaving the cabin. That's really shot. nice. That's really nice. Not getting your hands covered in oil. That's huge. You can just hook and go. The idea is to make it more efficient, but yeah. be able to do it quicker. Uh, what are these adjustments for? So, like, get the, that be like the angle yeah, of the teeth? You know, change the angle on this bar. Every machine is set different, right? So that yeah. you have the right pressure on the right. bar. You have any problems with, um, and this looks pretty, like pretty heavy duty construction here. Do you have any problems with like, guys hitting this on the ground and having this, like, you, that kind of you know like twist or bend or anything over time nothing yet we nothing. released it last march yeah. um, we beat it up good to test it have you sold quite a few of them yep what are they large 3850 not too bad with the teeth uh for 72 inch and same price for an 84 inch nice same that's right i mean nowadays for like comparable attachments that's really really reasonable we think it's priced aggressive yeah it is definitely is this a carbide edge nope it's just steel yep. but, these hooks on the top here so when you trailer it Oh, yeah. You can put yeah. your bucket on top of yeah. the rear bar. That's genius. And not take up twice the space on the trailer. That's that's really smart. I mean, you always have a bucket. You're never, rarely gonna have just this. Or I can see like where you're grading this, and then you're spreading black dirt with the bucket and going back to this. I like how it has three cutting edges on the bottom here. Whenever you have one, you just can't quite do as much work or carry as much. So you kind of when you get three cuts, if this misses or go over something, then you got a couple more chances. That's I like to see that the three edges on the bottom. Checking out this. Uh, what is this? Uh, ditch witch. SK3000. You guys you ran one of these before at GAE? Yeah. What'd I'm you think? Kentucky. It's all right. Had a lot of power. A lot of power? Yeah. Uh, would you rather, this looks like almost the same size, like a 450. Would you rather have a 450 or something? Think something? Yeah. Where would you see this to be better? No, I don't think it would be better at all. Right. But uh, it was just kind of cool to run something this big out in the wide open air, you know, not in the right. cab or right. stall it. But How'd you stall it? I went in the ground a little too hard. And what happened? I was just running it too hard and buried it in the ground. Pretty much went brah and died. Yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> Yeah, it's a big, pretty big, pretty big unit. Here's the visibility. Visibility is pretty good, pretty solid. Nice springy pad. Well, that is a wrap on the 2022 Northern Green Expo, Minneapolis, Minnesota. It was great. Overall, it was good. Hope you guys enjoyed. Waiting to get out that door. But overall, it was a great show. Appreciate you watching. Remember, in order to get results, no one else is getting. You gotta do things no one else is doing. See you soon.